Hi guys, it's Roger from AirTanksPlus.com. Today I want to show you another example of a way to tether your air gun. And I'm going to cover some of the advantages you get by tethering versus just filling the gun and removing the line. When I say tether your air gun, tethering is when you shoot it with the fill hose attached to the gun. In this example, I'm showing you an Air Venturi Avenger uh, tethered up to our stickman. Our stickman has a four foot fill whip, so it easily reaches from that bucket sitting on the ground up to your gun sitting on a bench. The PCP fill systems with the smaller two foot hoses can't easily do this. Tethering to the gun versus just filling the gun and removing the hose has a couple of advantages. The first advantage to tethering is that between fills, you're retaining the air in the line, you're not bleeding it off and wasting it which in turn means more shots per bottle. The second advantage of tethering is that when the pressure in the bottle that you're using to fill your air gun drops below the max fill pressure of your gun, instead of closing the valve between fills, you can leave the valve cracked open slightly. What this does for you as you take each shot in your air gun, the pressure remaining in the air gun's tube drops. So with it tethered and cracked open, as you take each shot and that pressure drops, it will then equalize by taking more air from the big bottle. And this is where it gets really cool. Not only will you get a ton of shots without having to stop and refill your air gun, uh, since the bottle and your tank's pressure sort of equalize, it creates one big bottle in theory. So this will limit your bell curve. So it'll really flatten out that bell curve, especially if you're using a big bore air gun. I like to call this trick the poor man's regulator. I like to call it this because as a big tank of air volume, it's fairly consistent between shots. It drops slowly over time. So it sort of acts like a regulator. And if you're shooting a regulated gun already, then it sort of acts like a second regulator. It makes it easier for the regulator to be consistent. I hope you'll give tethering a try. I think you'll really enjoy it. If your hose on your fill whip is not long enough, we sell hose extensions if you need one. Okay, enough of me talking. Let's do a quick recap. So there's different advantages to shooting tethered versus just filling up the air gun and removing the hose. I hope you guys found this video helpful and learned a little bit. If you could, please share this post with your friends. It'd really help us uh, grow our social media stuff. Okay. Have fun shooting your PCP air gun, shoot safe, and thanks for watching our video.